I found it extremely upsetting. I was, I was actually um, furious when I first saw it. I, I felt so bad for what that woman went through. Police in Groveland are investigating after a black woman says she was followed by a white man who drove behind her for a while before she ultimately confronted him. She says she was picking up dog food in town and that the man, whom she doesn't know, started following her on her way home. As WBC's Michael Cross reports tonight, it is an incident the town's police chief calls deeply disturbing. So what are you driving up in your Juniper Terrace for? So he followed me the entire five minutes almost. And so I just pulled onto a side street because I don't want to bring him to my house. The woman who we're not identifying shot this video of the incident from Monday afternoon. She says the man started following her while she was turning around on Juniper Terrace. That doesn't matter. No, Juniper Terrace is a very small street. You didn't stop. I did. I did. I stopped. I grabbed the dog food that is right there. The young woman was on that street because she was picking up some dog food for her new puppy. Someone who lives on Juniper Terrace posted in a Facebook group they were giving away the food. He's like, you didn't stop. I don't believe you. Like, there's no reason he should have felt threatened besides the pure reason that I am black. I'm black, and is that why you followed me? That's good. You're black. Yep. Congratulations. Uh-huh. Yeah. I have nothing wrong with that. She was treated inappropriately. Uh, she was treated like she was up to no good and um, she was simply just uh, doing her own thing, not bothering anybody. The Groveland Police Department is now investigating and the chief is overseeing the case. I want to have this this suspect charged. I want I want to hold him accountable and uh, make sure he understands that for his actions is going to be a reaction that he's probably not going to feel too comfortable with. We went by the home of the man in the video for comment, but nobody answered the door. We also left a message on his phone, but still have not heard back. Reporting from Groveland, I'm Mike LaCrosse, WBZ News.